Hi, this video is about finding free proxies that you can use for any program. So these are the things we're going to cover. And the first thing is, are free proxies usable? So let me just show you one of my VPSs here. You can see that I've got 617 proxies that I found today. And I'm using hreffer, which is a bit like Scrapebox. Uh, it scrapes different search engines. I'm using it at 400 threads with the 617 free proxies I found today. And in the last nine and a half hours, I found 10 million URLs. I didn't pay for these proxies. So obviously the ones we find during using this method are valuable and will help you do your SEO. So what we're going to do is use Scrapebox to find free proxies. And the first thing we want to do is load up our keywords, which in this case will be something like this. At the end, we have a proxy port number. And what I've done is I've just gone through 1 to 9,999 just to find every possible combination. Um, I don't recommend you do this. It's just that you know I've been finding hundreds of thousands of proxies. So for, for you, you probably just need the most common ports. There's about 15 or 20 common proxy ports. And in fact, if you look down this list here, you can see 8080, 3128, 81, 3128. So these are examples of proxy ports. And the bits in front mean that we're looking for this string precisely. That's what the quotations mean. And also, we don't care what number is between the dots. So we're asking Google to find a number followed by a period followed by a number, followed by a period, followed by a number, followed by a period, followed by a number, then a semicolon, then a port number. So I'm going to load this list and then I'm going to use the merge button on Scrapebox to merge the keyword list with our proxy footprint. So this is the proxy footprint here. Again, we're looking for one of these words, proxy or proxies, and then we have and and that will merge with the footprint and make sure you have a space on the end there as well because otherwise your keywords or proxy footprints will just uh, stick onto the end of this word and we don't want that and so you merge with that and then what we have is the string and and then we've got the proxy selectors and once you've done that you may as well save your keyword list so you can use it later and the next thing we're going to do is is scrape google so we'll uncheck Yahoo being an AOL, we're also not going to go nuts because some of these uh, proxy ports are just, they're no good and, and they're, they're going to come up with zero results, but I just put the complete list in there. Like I said earlier, you may benefit from just using a few of the, the ports instead of going through every single uh, possible number combination. But it's okay if we use uh, if we get bad results. Um, I'm going to show you a way to, to clean up your results quickly and easily later. So now we've disabled those search engines, we'll say 100 results and we're going to use proxies for the search and these two are fine as they are default and google.com and for the time we're going to say the past week so anything that's been indexed in google in the last week that has proxy or proxies and then some numbers formatted in in the shape of uh, proxy credentials or an ip address and port once you've got the time span search the last thing you want to do is check your settings I'm going to say, yeah, that's good. 30 second timeout and then maximum connections for Google. I'm going to increase it to 30. So I am scraping with 30 threads at a time rather than the default 10 apply and then start harvesting. And I'll come back once we have our results. Okay, so I ran that for a little while and I got 1200 results. Uh, I'm not particularly happy with the speed of Scrapebox because this list is quite large. I'm also using public proxy. So if you use private proxies, you'll have better results. Uh, because I felt this was a bit slow, I went back to hreffer. So I run the same list again. And in one minute, 15 seconds, I've got 43, 44, 45,000 results. Um, obviously, some of those are going to be duplicates, but I'm going to uh, delete the duplicates before I check them for proxies.